Hello everyone, welcome back to the physics lecture. So in today's video, we will see your BSc third semester physics syllabus. So already in a previous classes, we completed your first half unit. Okay. So in today's video, we will continue your second half unit that is what cardinal points of an optical system. Okay. So we will see what is the cardinal point of an optical system. So one by one, we will see. So see here in that first of all we will see the introduction part ok. So in that see here a lens is a, an optical medium bonded by two spherical surfaces. So here they given first the definition of the lens. So what is the lens? So see here a lens is an optical medium bonded by two spherical surface. So here one optical medium is there in that the spheric that can be bonded by what two spherical surfaces. So that is known as the one a lens. So next here, they given the again the definition of the convex lens and the definition of the concave lens. So see here, a lens which is thick at the middle and thin at its edges, that is known as the what? Convex lens. So one lens, here we have to consider one lens which is what? Thick at the middle, okay. So see here, here we have to consider one lens which is what? thick at the middle but what thin at its edges that is known as or that is called as what convex lens and next concave lens. What is the concave lens? The opposition of convex lens. How the opposition of convex lens is? So see here, here the similar difference or the little difference is there. Here we are considering only one lens but that lens is thin at the middle but thick at its edges. What happened which is thin sorry which is thin at a middle but thick at its edges that is known as the what convex lens sorry concave lens okay already here we got the definition of lens convex lens as well as the concave lens. Now we shall move to the what is the definition of the cardinal points okay we will see see here cardinal points. What are the cardinal points means? They given here an optical system consists of thick lens. So here one optical system is there that consists of what? Thick lens or number of lenses which are kept in a contact having the what? Six important points. Okay. So here thick lenses are there or the lenses are there which are kept in a contact and having the six important points. So see here that six important points are there, two principal fossa and the focal planes, next two principal points and the principal planes and the next two nodal points and nodal planes. So these are the six important points in that the thick lenses or the lenses which are kept in a contact these are known as what cardinal points, got it? So this is called as the cardinal point. So in this we will see one by one what is the principal foci and the focal planes, principal points and the principal planes and nodal points and the nodal planes. Okay, one by one we will continue this. So in today's video we will study the first one. Okay. So see here, focal points and the focal planes. So here one diagram is there by explanation of this diagram we can explain the focal points and the focal planes. So see here, consider an optical system consists of a concave lens. Okay, first what we have to consider here, here we are taking one convex, concave lens. So whatever this is there, that is nothing but what? Concave lens. Okay, got it? So here this is what our concave lens. Having a principal axis A, A dash. So, the A A dash is nothing but what? The principal axis. Got it? Here we are taking first con concave lens and the principal axis A A dash. Next the point at which the ray is incident on the lens after the refraction produces a parallel beam of light called the first principal focus F1. So here one F1 is their point. What is that F1 means? It is nothing but the first principal focus F1. So how the F1 we are getting here? So see here, the point at which the ray is incident on lens 
after refraction produces a parallel beam of light that is known as the one first principal focus f1 so here consider here one ray is there okay the ray is traveling and after incidenting again it can be refracted on a principal axis and that point is nothing but what f1 that is first principal focus so that is the object is placed uh, at a point on the principal axis corresponding produces a image at an infinite distance so whatever the object uh, that is placed uh, and the principal axis corresponding to the producing the image so see here in a principal axis so corresponding image is there so the difference sorry the distance of that from the focal point or the first focal point which having to what infinite at distance that we called as the what v equal to infinity okay so here we got the f1 that is the one first principal focus we'll move to the next okay so see here once again i will draw this diagram so here already we are considering what one concave lens on a principal axis that is a and a dai so here we are getting the point f1 and this side we are getting the point f2 so already i explained so see here here like this rays are going okay so from f2 so we must have to draw diagram like this okay next the direction of rays like this like this like this and like this okay so next here what happened if a parallel beam of light incident on the lens after refraction all the rays are converge at a point on the principal axis called as the what second principal focus that is f2 next what we are getting here we are getting the second principal focus f2 how we are getting so see here parallel beam of light so whatever the light is there that is parallel to principal axis so our a a dash is nothing but the principal axis so here refraction will be takes place after that converging light will be takes place so the parallel beam of light incident on the lens whatever the parallel light is there if that is incident on that lens what happened refraction will be take takes place okay so refraction all the rays converge it at a point on the principal axis called the second so already i told you one ray is there after that incidenting what happened refraction will be takes place after refraction what happened the rays will be converges so here the rays are converges and we are finding the point or getting the point f2 that f2 is called as the what second principal focus that is f2 so it is the point on the principal axis at which the image is formed so what happened next the image will be formed from the convex concave lens to the f2 when a parallel beam of light incident on it so image is forming by the parallel ray of light incident on it so again we are getting the one the distance of that lens we are calling as infinite u equal to infinity okay got it here we got the f1 as well as the f2 okay next we'll, we'll move to the next so see here these two points f1 and f2 are called the principal foci or focal points got it so already i got sorry already we got f1 and f2 what are the f1 and f2 that f1 and f2 are the principal foci or the focal points and the plane passing the principal foci perpendicular to the axis are called the what focal planes so here our diagram is like this okay here we are getting what parallel beam of light and the what perpendicular to the axis are called so whatever the perpendicular axis are called that is known as our principal planes okay
so we conclude that next the distance from the first principal focus f1 to the optic center called the first principal plane of the focal length f1 and the distance from the second principal focus f2 to the optic center is called the second principal focal length that is the f2 okay so here we are getting what f1 and f2 so this distance called as the f2 and this distance we call as a f1 so whatever the distance is there from the wand f1 to the optic center that is called as the f1 from the f2 means that is a small f2 that is what focal length of first focus point and focal length of a second focus point so see here in today's video already we started your second half unit what is that cardinal points of of an optical system so in that already we see introduction in introduction part what is the lens convex lens as well as the concave lens next the definition of the cardinal points and after the definition already we explain the first cardinal points okay so in next class we'll continue the second cardinal point okay thank you